up welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kaya for today's video i'm teaching another 1989 vault track i'm seriously just obsessed with all of the vault tracks and i've had such a fun time teaching all of them for today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching slut from 1989 Taylor's version. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that on here. So we're gonna be careful with that word today. I love this song so much. It definitely wasn't what I was expecting when I heard 1989 Taylor's version, but it's really, really beautiful and it's really fun to play on the guitar. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and enjoyable and without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, your capo is going to be on the second fret. There are a total of five chords needed for this song. The first one is C. Then we have A minor. Then we have E minor. Then we have F. And then G. So there are two different string patterns for this entire song. The first one is going to be down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And then the second string pattern is going to be down, 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 up. So basically the end of the first string pattern. Okay, so starting off with the intro, we're going to have C and we're going to play that for a total of two measures and you're going to be using the first string pattern of down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So if we play it together, it should sound like this. And then we would play that one more time because we're gonna do two measures of C for the intro. Okay, and that is what the intro will be like with C. Hopping into verse one, the chord progression is going to be C, a minor, E minor, G. Now each chord is going to be a little bit different from another when it comes to the string pattern and how many times you play the string pattern. So for example, C is going to get two measures of strumming, the first original strumming pattern. Then we go to A minor and A minor is only gonna get one measure of the string pattern. So for E minor and G, you're going to use a string pattern of down, 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 up. So we'll play it all together, make sure it makes sense. So starting off with C, it's two measures of the original showing pattern, just like the intro. So we're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, one more time. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And then we go to A minor, and A minor only gets one measure. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And then we go to E minor. And e minor is going to go down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. And then we switch to G. Down, 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 up. So all together, that chord progression will sound like this. And you guys can follow along as well. And they're going to play that chord progression one more time because the verse gets two chord progressions. pre-chorus and the pre-chorus has the exact same chord progression as the verse and you also play that a total of two times and just remember for e minor and g we are splitting those chords and so they're going to use the other string pattern the shorter string pattern of down 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 up God loves drop wind straight to my head God loves sick all over my into the chorus and for the chorus we do have a different chord progression the chord progression for the chorus is going to go f e minor a minor g so for f and a minor the chords are going to get two measures of the regular original string pattern and then a minor and g are also going to use the original string pattern but they're only going to get one measure each so starting off with f we have down down up up down 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 up one more time 
down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Then we switch to E minor, which gets two measures as well. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And then we go to A minor, which only gets one measure, but same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And then to G. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. A quick little side note, I'm playing the regular shape of the G major chord, but something you can do if you want a little bit of an easier way for a G chord is you can just take off your bottom two fingers. So you're basically just using your middle finger and your index finger. You have your middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then you have your index finger on the second fret of the fifth string. And it sounds like the exact same, it's just a little bit of an easier transition. If I'm all dressed up, Okay, then we go into verse two, and for verse two, it's the exact same as verse one. The only minor difference is instead of playing the last G, you just don't play it, you're going to basically ring out on E minor. So after you finish the string pattern for E minor, you won't play anymore, you kind of like pause. I'll obviously show you what that sounds like just so you get a better idea, but it's the exact same, you're just not playing G at the very end. Send the cold is waiting. And then basically you just go right back into the pre-chorus. And the pre-chorus is the exact same. You're just not playing the chord progression two times. You only play it once. And the chorus is also the exact same as the previous chorus. So you just repeat that. Then we get into the bridge and I love this bridge so much. It is so good. And the bridge has like the same chord progression as the verses. So it's nothing new. It's very simple, very repetitive. Half asleep, taking your time to tear to bring me your legacy. So luxury, you're not saying you can love with me. But you're going to have a wake, taking your chances. It's a big mistake, sit in my boat. go into the outro and the outro is going to have the same chord progression as the chorus it's just worded a little bit different like lyric wise but it's like the exact same chord progression so you play f for two measures e minor for two measures and then you have a minor and g and those just get one measure and then you will end the song by single strumming on c And that is how you play Slut by Taylor Swift from 99 Taylor's Version. Such a good song. I just love, it's very relaxing and calm. The lyrics are deep, but it has, it's very relaxing in my opinion. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable. Leave me any other vault song recommendations that you would like me to teach. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.